Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about pivot function in the Power BI. It is a very quite common function in the RDBMS. To get this a pivot operation in the RDBMS, you may need to write a big query. But in the Power BI, it's a kind of straightforward function. Before going to show you the example, I will show you what is the data I am planning to use in this example. If you go to my database, if you see the query, select country name, comma, sum of amount, alias amount from expenditure group by country name. If you see the results, it is a very basic sample table which is showing the expenditure of each and every country. Country name, China, amount is 25,900. Similarly, India, UAE, UK and USA and respect to amounts, expenditure amounts, which you can see in the SQL Server Management Studio. This is the table. This is the data I am going to use in my pivot example. Now, let me go to Power BI window. So this is the Power BI window. So let me copy the query of it. Yeah, let's click on get data. Obviously, select the SQL server. Once you select the SQL server, you will get this kind of a window. Here you need to specify your server name. So my server name is dot slash SQL 2012 and my database name is sample. And I am planning to write a query, not a direct table. So that is the reason why I am clicking on the advanced options. In the advanced options, I am going to keep my query. I simply copied in the SQL window and I just pasted in the query window. So once I am okay with the query window, so let me click on OK. So I just clicked on the OK. If you see this, this is the data which I am going to get. If you wanted to edit, you can edit. Otherwise, you can simply click on load. So let me click on load. So once I click on load, it may take a while based on the size of the data to get into the in memory of the Power BI. It's still loading. Yeah, if you see this, it loaded with the name of a query one. If you want, you can rename this by right click and you can simply rename it and saying that uh, you can give the meaningful name expand the APUR expenditure that's it so now we give a exact name or best name to my data now how to go for a pivot here so now if you see the data here let's select the expenditure and let's see the data this is the data you have if you see now let me go to the pivot functionality so to go to the pivot functionality, you need to click on edit queries first. Let's click on edit queries. Once you click on edit queries, you will get a separate window with a query editor. So with a query editor, you can see that query editor in the top actually, if you see that. So this is the query editor. You can see that query editor. You can see that now. Let me apply a pivot. See, to apply the pivot, you need to go to the transform. Let's go to the transform. In the transform, you have a couple of options you have. So you do not have a direct a, a word for pivot or unpivot, but you have an icon. If you see this, once I hover this particular icon, it is nothing but a pivot. So select the column, what you want to keep in the pivot, select that and click on the pivot option so once you click on the pivot it automatically yes it will ask you so the column header is a pivot header then what would be the value column so i have only one column i have uh, left over so by default this amount column is a value column here for me because i have only one column let's click on okay if you're okay with that let's select let us see now so now you'll be getting china as a table header india as a header uae as a header uk as a header usa as a header if you see the data comparison between that and this, source is this. Source is nothing but a headers are country name and amount. But when you go to the pivot output, 
country names are the China, India, UAE, UK and USA are the table headers. So this is how we convert normal data into a pivot uh, operations. So once you are okay with it, so let's uh, go back to the home tab and click on close and apply. So once you close and apply, yeah, let me click on close and apply. So once you click on close and apply, it means that you are planning to save those changes and you are planning to get back those changes into your uh, original power bi window now if you want to uh, generate a, a here a tabular report or something else you can just uh, drag and drop the visualization and you can select the respect to uh, columns and all in the visualizations this is how we will be using the pivot functionality in the power bi that's it thank you for watching so if you have any questions in the power bi please let me know in the YouTube comment section. I'll try to answer it. Thank you. Thank you for watching. That's it.